That's right, we're finally getting a taste of She-Hulk. 1,000 pounds of green... Whoa, you say Z, what have we got here? We finally got a little bit of a taste, a little bit of a teaser of She-Hulk Attorney at Law. That's right. <laughs> I don't exactly know what the actual F I just got and what I just watched, but I'm going to go through it a little bit, give you my reaction and maybe shed a little bit of light on what's going on here. You gotta remember, this is the man, my, I am the man you may know as Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I have watched every single stinking Marvel series, and I've ranted about all of them right up here. Every single episode, every single second, I've been there with you going over them, and now I'm going to be subjected to She-Hulk. Now, She-Hulk is a character I really like. I actually like Jennifer Waters and her whole... Um, saga she's like a this 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 attor super successful attorney she's like barbie dream girl wrapped up in a super sexy green body that happens to be like eight feet tall <laughs> so she's like an astronaut she's a model she's a lawyer like she's everything yet somehow they decided to cast five foot four maslani tatani or Tatiana Maslany, I'm sorry, from Orphan Black, who I do like. I think she's a good actress. Maybe not for this role, but we'll take a look at it and see. I mean, I'm a, just a little confusion when I watch this. I don't know if I'm aroused or if I'm totally just losing my mind. Or Now, one thing I do want to point out is that there are many, many rumors on the internet. This is a very troubled production. They had a lot of trouble, a lot of reshoots, a lot of problems, a lot of dissatisfaction uh, on set. So when you see a trailer and you're just like, what is this? Yeah, that's a problem. So um, we're not going to play because I will get copyright stricken as I usually do. Uh, but we'll take a look. And um, apparently stuff's going on. And uh, Bruce Banner is going to be in this. I heard he's not going to be in it as much as you would like to see him. So don't be surprised when you don't see that much of him. The setup, uh, you know, she's supposed to be an attorney representing, I guess, uh, superheroes or supervillains. You know, supervillains have rights. They're kind of introducing this whole group. I, I don't get the red and the blue. Maybe all of it will make sense in the future. I, I just don't know. Um... I feel like there was a lot of Easter eggs in here that maybe I didn't understand. But if I didn't understand them, I'm telling you, you're not going to get them. And I, I thought this was a little cheesy because they use this like whole intro here of her. Like, first of all, if she's already eight feet tall, why does she need like platform sneakers? I'm a little un unclear on that. And then just like this whole like weird back booty shot. Like, what's up with that? What's up with the rump? And then not revealing her face until later. And then the logo goes green. Okie dokie. She's just your ordinary attorney who happens to be a very famous brother. I I don't know what they're going with this. Like where this is going. Her look doesn't seem super cool or right. I mean, whatever. So she's got friends and, you know, she's got this diverse group of friends who are super cool and super awesome. You know, great friends. Awesome. Super cool. You know, she's the square, man. She needs shots immediately. She's dealing with this really important brief, right? Uh, I, I guess this is the new shield or sword or whatever. Not 100% sure where she works because, you know, the MCU hasn't set any of this up. I have no idea what's going on. I don't think anybody does. I, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's a little disjointed at the moment and I don't really get what's going on. But this is the biggest look we've gotten and they want to start her with a superhuman law division. And she wants to be, he wants her to be the face of it. And this is Emil Blonsky, for those of you who don't remember. 
I was under the impression that the first Hulk movie was not a thing in the MCU. I know it's part of the MCU, and I know it's is the original movie with Iron Man that came out. And I know they threw the Abomination back in Chang Chi, which is cool. But like Emil Blonsky, like what? What are we doing here? I think this is just like a gag to get you into the show. I think it's 10 episodes, which is kind of striking considering the rest of them are all like six. I think the longest one was WandaVision at nine, maybe? I'm not 100% sure, even though I've endured all of this nonsense. Okay, so super serial attorney and a real frustrating family, you know, because having like super genius Bruce Banner, the Hulk, as a cousin, pff, super serial. Like, oh my God, like what a pain. And he's smart Hulk. We'll see what happens with all of that. I have no idea. And then I guess something happens. I'm going to guess she gets her standard issue origin story of a blood transfusion. And then he's like, oh, when you get angry, they have to say like stupid stuff about women. I don't know where the, uh... yeah, transformations are triggered by fear and anger. She's like, isn't that like the normal state of a woman like every single day? Like, oh my god, yeah, those are like the baseline of any woman just existing. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I want to care about that. So he sets up a test to have her chainsawed. That seems like a bad idea to have your cousin chainsawed. And then she, you know, transforms and destroys everything. And he's like, ho oh, ho, it's hilarious. Ho oh, ho, good fun. I I just I, I get I don't know I, I'm hoping this is good fun I really am August seventeenth the debut date and she's like annoyed that she has to transform between the two now my understanding is that she's always She Hulk that there's no transformation she's just She Hulk but we'll see we'll see and I do think she's a good actress you know as many people who aren't familiar with Orphan Black it was actually a British production for the BBC. And she played, she's essentially a, a clone and plays different versions of herself. There's like 20 or 30 different characters that she ends up playing by the end of it. And it's weird and not all the characters are fleshed out, but you get the idea that she has range, right? So they, they didn't pay a lot of money to get her and they want to know who the She-Hulk is, the press. Yeah, it's hilarious. You'll like her when she's angry. Why? Because I'm going to have sex with her? Like, what? Your ass looks crazy right now. What does that even mean? What is going on? Like, I, I just don't understand what the... So she's going to be judged by all these people? This diverse cast of people? Like, what is going on here? I don't understand. You'll like her when she's angry. do 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 She's bursting out of her shoes. She, and she doesn't want to be Avenger because she's an attorney. You know, I really like Agents of Smash. I think that's a really fun show. And uh, She-Hulk gets like a really good, you know, I, I get where they're going. I, I like her from the animated series. I didn't really read the comic books. I think this is a little weird that she's saying that the Avengers are billionaires, narcissists, and adult orphans. I mean, is she talking about like Wanda? Is she talking about the Scarlet Witch? Like, I don't, I don't really understand. Who's in it? Like, Clinton Barton's not an adult orphan. I don't think he's a narcissist. I don't know. I'm confused. So anyway, like, is this a meta joke that I don't get? Please explain to me in the comments below. Oh, apparently people are saying that. Oh, that one little. This is a is a reference to Frogman. She attacks somebody in a in a courtroom. Yeah, there you go. Frogman? Yo, I, that's I, I feel like some of these Easter eggs are just so surface level deep that it's just not that interesting. Um, Yeah, whatever that is. I don't know. And look, it's Abomination. You remember him. Remember Berries. Remember him? Do you remember when there was a different Hulk? Do you remember that? When it was a different actor playing Hulk? That it wasn't Mark Ruffalo? It was the guy from Primal Fear? Do you remember that? Look, I'm going to watch it. 
I'm going to go through it because you make me. Because I like torture. I like to torture myself. This scene, <laughs> I don't understand. She's like swiping right on all these people. She's like, I'm going to date all these guys. Like, what is going on here? And then this whole scene of like her carrying the dude. Like, she's a sex monster now. Like, what is, what is this? And I just want to point out. The proportions don't look right, and the CGI looks really bad. Like, does that look like a real thing, or am I hallucinating? That's not how a normal person would carry a human being. This just doesn't look right. The CGI, they need to work on, like, what am I looking at? What in the actual F am I looking at? I just don't understand. And I know I'm already ranting and I haven't even seen the whole thing. But I'm like, what am I looking at? What is this? What? And I like She-Hulk. And I'm like, what am I doing? Ah, why must you do this to me, Marvel? Why? <laughs> Please stop torturing me. Oh, I'm going to watch it, but good googly moogly. What have I gotten myself into? Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Are you excited? I, I see all these comments in the Disney in the Disney feed. And they're like, this looks freaking great. I'm so excited. I can't believe Glad Banner. Oh, my God. It looks so much fun. What part of this looks like fun? Which part of it? Which part? Anyway. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy what we do here. This is Our Reviews Will Kill You. You can catch our full-length audio podcast on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places. If you want to interact with us directly, you can do our social media on Instagram, O-R-K underscore U, like the Orc University. And uh, we live stream Friday nights, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join us there because it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, as for me... Great googly moogly. I'm on to the next one.